welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got a really exciting video for you today because I'm going to be talking about design and not just interior design, but I'm also going to be talking about parallels in design. So how interior design is very similar to car design. And in order to do that, I'm going to introduce you to my brand new Buick. This is the 2021 Buick Envision Avenir. It's a brand new model and I'm so excited to share the design with you. Now, a couple things that will jump out at you right away is the beautiful satin steel metallic color. It's got the Buick Avenir grill, which is standard in this model. And this is an SUV. So someone like me, an interior designer who's always on the move and has a ton of stuff that I'm bringing with me, whether it's to the office, to a site, to a finished space, I need a lot of room in the back. And this Envision definitely has that. Design must be functional, in my opinion. It can have elements that are beautiful and decorative, but at the end of the day, in order for great design to take place, it's got to be beautiful and functional. I like to take materials and try to find inventive and new ways to use them. If you execute that properly, that creates a sense of familiarity but also a sense of excitement because you're seeing something new and different. I would definitely say that my personal design style is classic and timeless, but still very eclectic. I like to mix different time periods. I like to take inspiration from different cultures, even different projects. That's why I love doing restaurants and residential and developer work hair salons, you can mix and match and take inspiration and cues from all of these different projects in order to create something brand new. One of the things that I really love about this new Buick is just how comfortable it is. And from the second that you open the door, you can actually see how comfortable it is. It's got these really great leather seats with some beautiful stitching. There's a 10 inch screen that's on an angle. So as a driver, it's super easy to use and see the screen. I love that the heads up display is actually integrated right into the glass. I also really love the precision shift feature. It creates so much more room in the cabin. Plus when you step into a vehicle that has precision shift, it actually just feels so much more luxurious. Another feature that I really like is the textured wood door paneling. I think that this is just a really nice detail in the vehicle that gives this car so much more of an elevated design. At the end of the day, design is in the details and it's these little details that make the design so special. This is not the normal way in, but I'm taking you through the back way. Come on in. Oh, you know what? Look at this. Okay, everyone. So I am checking up on our Revive project. Revive is a high-end townhouse project by Belford Properties. The House of Bond team has been designing these townhomes along with 
the presentation center. Here we are standing in the front entry. We designed this space to feel very serene and calming. We've got gorgeous, gorgeous wood paneling on the walls. As you walk into the space, you're greeted with a beautiful check-in desk. The whole intent of this space is that it feels very tonal, meaning we've got this gorgeous, light, fresh oak color, and you're seeing that color in the check-in desk, in the furniture, as well as this beautiful screen that's behind me. As you come into the next space, which is the model table area, this space is completely different than it is in the front entry. We did this very intentionally because we want you to experience the model table, some of the plans, some of the developer imagery in a very specific way. This space is completely black. We've got black tiles on the floor, the model table itself is black, the walls are black, the ceiling is black. In the center of the room, we've got a model of the project. Behind me, you can see we've got these great screens. These are backlit images. There's construction going on. And this is a great image of what the entire project looks like. This is a very, very unique project and you can see how design really impacts your experience, it impacts your mood, and it impacts the way you see the world. I'm just gonna shut this door. Okay, so I'm only gonna give you a little sneak peek of the space because we are going to do a full project tour. So you're gonna see much more later on when we do that video. But I do wanna point out a couple of details that really makes these kitchens beautiful. Similar to the Buick Envision where we've got a textured wood panel on the door. In the front of the kitchen here, we've got a textured wood panel on the islands. This just gives the kitchen so much texture, so much interest, and it really makes the kitchen feel incredibly elevated and special because this is not a typical finish that you would see every day. It's little details like this that make the space just feel so much more elevated and exciting. I love the finish on these fixtures because it's not a bright gold, it's a little bit more of a muted gold, but the champagne color gives it a really special quality that you don't see every day. And so again, having fixtures like this in your kitchen make it feel really special and really elevated because it's not a typical finish. There's nine feet of ceiling space on the main floors and the kitchen cabinetry goes all the way up to the ceiling, meaning that you have a ton of storage in your kitchens. The bathroom. This is the master ensuite, and I am so happy with the way that this turned out. We have a beautiful tile on the floor, on the walls. This looks incredible. This looks luxurious. We have a great double sink vanity. Again, we've got this champagne bronze faucets. In this case, they're wall hung faucets. And then we have these incredible mirrors that are also medicine cabinets. So again, tons and tons of storage. You'll get to see and hear a lot more about this space once it's completely done. We're still putting the finishing touches on this presentation center, and then it's gonna be ready in just a few weeks. So we're almost there, we're getting close, and it's looking really good. So one of my favorite features about the Envision is the integrated CarPlay. So now you don't need wires anymore. The SUV just automatically connects to your phone via CarPlay. And if I hit start, it just shows up on the 10 inch screen. How cool is that? with Christine Chang. 
She is the Buick Envision Exterior Design Team Manager. I'm gonna learn a little bit about her process and how she approaches designing the exterior of a car. Oh, there we go, hi. hi! I feel so lucky to be talking to you because when I was a kid and my dad asked me for the first time what I wanted to be when I grew up, my answer was I wanted to design cars. From a young age, wanted to do something creative and wanted to get into design and so I think that was the first thing that came out of my mouth. But then I went into interior design. <laughs> That was like me too. Um, ever since I was young, I've always been drawing like you, just wanting to do something creative, build something. How long have you been into car design? Professionally for 15 years. Did you always start as a car designer? I have actually dabbled into fashion a little bit when I was in high school. What really drew me to car design is the fact that you're creating this three-dimensional sculpture. You're really infusing life to a two-dimensional vision sketch. There's so many parallels here because I feel the same way with homes. To be part of making that beautiful and bringing joy to people's lives and making them comfortable is so gratifying and so satisfying. The fact of turning two-dimensional artwork into a three-dimensional physical property, like a sculpture, mm -hmm. that whole process really hooked me into car design. That's so cool. I love that you think of it as much more artistic than I would have thought. A lot of people don't realize how artistic the process is. Mm -hmm. um, when they tell people I'm a car designer, they think I'm an engineer. I'm like, we're the creative minds behind the cars. Where do you get your inspiration to develop a new idea or incorporate a new design? I think as your heart is open, to, to receive different perspectives, yeah. different ideas. I think that's when you can find inspiration. For me too, like I am always looking to fashion, to art, to film, to even, I, w I was driving around in the car today and looking at the different features, the textured wood paneling on the doors, which I think is so cool. And I was drawing a parallel between that and this beautiful wood texture that we're doing on a kitchen island right now. I love what you said about um, when your heart is open. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you find inspiration. And then also for the Buick Envision, what we really wanted to do was create a very expressive and sporty vehicle that looks very youthful, agile. Um, and when you see it, you really feel that. You yes. That when you get into the vehicle. But the exterior, like the lines are so sleek. You've got yeah. the Buick grill on the front. Yeah. It is a good looking car. There's a lot of shape in and out. And there's that zigzag reflection that the shape makes, all those reflections draw your eye all around the vehicle. Yes, we were out earlier today doing some photography with the car. We have this really great location and the car was so stunning in this alley. I'm like, yes, it is so fluid. It has just this interesting shape to it. It feels very dynamic. Well, <laughs> can you tell me a little bit more about your process? Everything starts from a sketch and from the sketches we choose the best theme and then from the best design we start working on the clay model. The reason why we use clay yeah. is because it's, it's very additive and then we also take it into the computer mm -hmm. and then and, and they start building CAD model, um, computer model as well. And uh, um, the goal is to capture that sketch because the, the sketch embody so much emotion. That is so similar to the way that we work. We start with that initial sketch and concept. Th that is the seed of the idea. And then when we are building out the space and it's you know, we have our contractors and our trades and all the other craftspeople that are working on a space, it will always come back to that initial idea and that initial concept and that initial sketch. We even um, share the design proposals with some customers and we kind of learn about them. And to me, for me, I always feel that the, the difference between an artist and a designer, an you know, artist, you're, it's, it's really all about self-expression. Yes, definitely. 
designer, you're about you, the customer. Design is kind of marrying those two things, right? Being able to put your own art into what you're designing, but at yep. the same time keeping the person that you're designing for in mind. Well, this was so good, Christine. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. This was great. It was so fun to learn about Buick and so fun to learn about your design process. I have even more of an appreciation for the car now after talking to you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye, Christine. Have a great day. Bye. of that discussion design doesn't happen on your own you are always designing with a team of people and I think that's how the most successful designs come together so here we are team <laughs> <laughs> we are jumping into our chateau project our big 20,000 square foot house Karina and I have a ton to do for that project so we we're gonna get into it answer this too. So people on the channel all the time ask, how do we stay organized as a team? Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips on how you stay organized? I live by my calendar, so every single task or to-do list item is always in my calendar and I have a constant to-do list that I'm updating all the time. And then I have different project folders with tabs and everything printed and then everything organized on our drive. <laughs> Karina really is the queen of organization. She is, basically that's what we're doing right now. We're organizing our project. We're organizing the chateau because there is so much to do. How I stay organized is I have an amazing team who stays organized. <laughs> I'm not organized. <laughs> Thank God we are. <laughs> Thank God you are. Amen to that. <laughs> So I am going to wrap up the vlog here. It has been a very big day full of design. So cool to kind of reflect on where you find inspiration and where you look to inspiration. I've talked a lot on my channel about going to other industries like fashion and film and television and even cars to some extent. I mean, you can find inspiration literally everywhere. And as Christine Chen, she said it best today that if your heart is open, you literally can find inspiration anywhere. I would love to hear from you guys. Where do you find your inspiration? I get asked that all the time, but I wanna know, where do you find your inspiration? Is it TV? Is it fashion? Is it interior design? Where do you find your inspiration? Maybe it's social media. I would love to know, so comment below and let's start a conversation in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. It was really fun to hang out with you today and to show you my new car. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye for now.